Hello everyone, it's Ryan with Frontline Animal Removal. Today I want to show you an effective positive sets trap and how simple it is. So right here we have a little porch. Right there, we got a troublemaker. Now this porch is open all the way across and I knew the groundhog was living underneath there and I needed a way to close it off. Now, wild critters aren't the smartest, so sometimes the simplest of materials will block it off. So I had some dirty old trap boards, so I threw those up and had a cardboard box. So I opened the cardboard box and just threw it on the ground there, and then I put the trap boards up and I blocked it off. The reality is, the groundhog, he can punch a hole right through the cardboard, but he doesn't know that. Um, and the pieces of wood he can knock those down but he doesn't know that so we gave him a very simple uh, opening you know to see and observe and I put the trap on the side that he was going in and out of and you know what it worked so when it comes to this positive set trapping stuff it's not real complicated just shut down all the other entrances give them way in and out and trap it and we caught this guy within about an hour of setting it. Awesome. Hello everyone, it's Ryan with Frontline Animal Removal. Sometimes trapping is very simple. Let me show you very simple. Here I have a groundhog in a trap. I have caught three groundhogs in this location using this style of trap. So how have I done this? Very simple. The shrubs form a tunnel that the groundhogs run through. So what do I do? I just shove the trap in the tunnel and then run right through it. And what am I doing here? I'm just taking advantage of their natural um, trail that they built. So they naturally travel through here. Uh, it's very consistent. So just simply setting the trap in the route of travel they tend to go right into it. And I got three of them doing that. Nothing special about that. Thank you.